and they're looking at uh, facing a, a spike in their insurance premiums, that, that really hurts. Thousands of homeowners in coastal communities pay for a peace of mind, knowing their home is insured, but now fewer can afford it. We have the most companies willing to write automobile insurance, much fewer companies that are willing to write homeowners. According to the Department of Insurance, homeowners in coastal communities pay more than $5,000 a year for insurance, compared to the state average of nearly $2,000. The hurricanes play a, a big part in it too. A request this year by the NC Rate Bureau, essentially a non-government agency representing insurance companies, would nearly double premiums in these coastal counties, while most inland areas would get a smaller increase. They have rating areas for all over the state. Sometimes it's down to certain zip codes and the rating areas are based on the rate bureau's past claims experience, the money they paid out in claims to that particular area over the past number of years. A greater number of storms to the amount of catastrophic damage, even changes in the climate are factors in the proposal and current rates. North Carolina Insurance Commissioner Mike Causey says he's there to put a stop to it. When I said no, I based that on state law. I, I said, the, in my opinion, the request was excessive and unfairly discriminatory to certain sections of our state. He says around 25,000 homeowners, mostly along the coast, spoke out against the proposal. Almost every other person that wrote in said that they could barely afford groceries some weeks because the groceries keep going up every week. The local taxes have gone up. What he's hearing from insurance company leaders is different. They all tell me they're losing money on homeowners. They're paying out for every dollar they bring in in premiums. They're paying out a dollar and 15 cents to a dollar and 30 or 40 cents on claims and that you can't you can't stay in business like that. Other elements include inflation, scammers, and people filing smaller claims, some worth only a few thousand dollars. I think people have to look at having higher deductibles and using insurance for major damage catastrophes. Like during Hurricane Florence in 2018, there were 23 disaster counties in our state Commissioner Causey says 88,000 homeowners lost everything because they didn't have flood insurance. He says one option is the North Carolina Joint Underwriters, essentially an association of insurance companies focused on insurable properties. He says this group insures close to 70% of homes in coastal areas. Take a look, shop around, compare, look at having higher deductibles and uh, certainly replacement value coverage on automobiles and your contents of your home because that's worth this weight in gold. Reporting along the coast, Tyler Harden, News 12.